hope you're having an awesome day so far. Today's video is going to be my current favorites video and I say current because I had originally filmed my May favorites video and I lost the entire footage of the intro. It was corrupted or something along those lines. It just wouldn't work. So I thought I would refilm it because a lot of you had asked what are my current favorites. So I think I'm going to start with some clothes and then move into accessories and then some beauty products and then some random stuff and some people because I like people favorites. So if you'd like to see my current favorites, keep on watching. The first clothing favorite that I have been obsessed over are my black milk leggings and you guys know I own a a lot of black milk because I'm obsessed with it. Anyways, I added a new pair of leggings to my collection and they are the Witch King leggings and they are from the Lord of the Rings collection and I don't know if you can see like the scary badass Witch King dude but that's what it looks like and then there is like scary monster things on the back. I don't even know what these monsters are in the movie which is terrible but they are on the back. So I've been loving these. They're comfortable, they're super stretchy, and I absolutely love them. And a lot of you are asking what size I take in black milk. I have been wearing the extra small leggings. I would say I probably am gonna order the bodysuits slash shirts in a small now. I used to order the extra smalls, but since getting my boobs, it's a little bit tight around that area. So I am an extra small legging and now a small top. My next favorite, some of you guys are going to either love or some of you guys might not be so keen on, but let me kind of preface this by saying over the past probably three months my style has evolved to include a lot more tomboy clothing things. When I was younger I used to dress completely like a tomboy, like I made everyone call me Chris, I wore like the boyest of the boy basketball shorts and button up collar shirts with like the flames on the bottom. I was that kid. So ever since I started like doing my makeup and dressing girlier I kind of always stayed away from wearing tomboy like things because it always just reminded me of that phase of my life. But now I've been gradually including more and more kind of adult tomboy things into my closet. And this next item is a hat from ASOS or ASOS. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Let me go down below. But it is this one right here. It's camel print, it's studded, and it's like super tough badass. So I've really been liking it. I took the sticker off. Are you supposed to do that? I see guys walking around with like the big stickers on the hats. I didn't know if it was like the thing to do to keep it on, but I just thought it looked kind of lame. So I took it off. But Anyways, I've been wearing this, I've been loving this, I also wear my Blink-182 hat that's like a similar style to this. So major favorite because I can wear this and I don't need to do my hair and winning. My next clothing favorite is the shirt that I am wearing and it is from Daily Look and I think that Nikki Philippi has the exact same one so high five Nikki, we are shirt twins. If you've been living under a rock and you haven't seen any of my Australian or New Zealand YouTube friends videos regarding Daily Look, Daily Look is trying to do international shipping which is pretty sweet because I used to order off the website, get it shipped to my mom in Canada and then get it shipped to Australia so it would solve a lot of problems if they just had international shipping. In order for them to go through with the international shipping, they need 50,000 people to sign up before the 23rd. So I think they're like 12,000 members off or something like that. So essentially, everybody that watches this video, if you signed up, then everybody who wants international shipping could get international shipping. Even if you don't necessarily want to order from the website right away, it's still really cool to get their emails for styling advice. It's kind of like following a blogger in a way because they're showing you a outfit and how to style it, but the nice thing about it is that you can click on it and you can buy everything that they're wearing at a discounted price. Since I've purchased from Daily Look before and I've featured them in some videos, they contacted me to ask if I would help them launch their international shipping and they let me pick out a couple things on the website. So this was one of the things I picked out and I also picked out this purse. If you have if you haven't been watching my channel for very long, then I'll forgive you for not knowing this, but if you have watched my channel, you'd probably notice that most of my outfits have some form of black, some form of metal detailing, and some form of glitter. So for one item to have all three of those things in one, pretty much gonna be my favorite thing. So take the exact same principle and switch out black for white, and you have my next favorite. It is this little purse clutch thing from Forever New. I bought it probably about a week ago now. And I love it. It really reminds me of the little Michael Kors wristlet phone case things and that's what I was looking for because I refuse to spend that much money on the Michael Kors one. It's way too expensive in Australia. But this is the same principle where you can put your phone in, you can put your cards in, and it's a little either a clutch or a um, bag, whatever you want to wear it as. So I love this. Really, really glad I found it and I think it was like 20 bucks. My next fashion favorite is actually more of a hair accessory favorite and it is from Nest and it is this bun buddy. And you guys saw me 
Instagram this and a lot of you were like, where did you get it? It's from Nest. I'll link it down below. I have a flower like halo from them as well. But this is what it looks like and that's how it looks like in the back. You essentially just tie it up and around a hair bun. So you make your hair bun, take this, tie it around, and then it just sits framing your little bun. Like, pretend to have a little bun. But that's what it looks like. I think it's the cutest thing ever and it really, really spices up a classic bun look. Moving into beauty favorites, it is getting into winter time here and it's getting pretty damn cold and my skin gets really dry and cracks and it's uncomfortable and I don't like that. And so two products that I've been absolutely loving are from Lush. One of them is the Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. Total mouthful, but it is such a great product. It smells like freshly squeezed lemons. It looks like this. And I've been keeping it on my bedside table and rubbing it all over my cuticles right before bed and it totally helps with peeling and cracking. Loving it. The second thing that I've been loving from Lush has been the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. Holy cow. Okay, imagine like the most scrumptious hair mask, which I actually have one of those to show you. But anyway, imagine the best hair mask that you possibly imagine for your skin. It's unreal. It smells exactly like roses. It's pink, it looks really, really pretty, and your skin feels so, so, so nice when you come out of the shower. You put on a moisturizer afterwards and it's just like, oh, you feel really great. I got these two products when I went to a Lush PR event with my friend Chloe Morello, and I asked if Lush would be willing to sponsor a giveaway of these. So, three of you will be winning a Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter and a Rose Argan Body Conditioner. All you have to do is leave your favorite scent down below in the comments and be obviously subscribed to my channel and have permission if you are under 18. Easy peasy. I've just been sneaking in these giveaways lately, hey. I really like it though because I know for myself when I'm watching someone I'm kind of paying attention, kind of not, and then all of a sudden they're like, sneaky giveaway. I'm like, bing! So I hope you guys feel that way and I hope you guys like sneaky giveaways. Okay, so the hair mask that I was talking about is this one. It is a macadamia natural oil deep repair mask. Oh my gosh, I can't say enough about this. This is the bomb.com. It smells like, I'm terrible at describing smells, but a lush tropical rainforest would be as close as I could get. It smells unreal. Like seriously, Glenn will like burrow his nose in my hair after I've used this. And my hair is so soft, it feels so great. I 100% say the quality of my hair is now better because of this product. Wouldn't even hesitate once saying go out and buy this. This is a product that you need. Makeup products I have been loving. You guys have probably noticed from past videos and past hauls that I have been obsessing over lip products. And there is three things that I want to show you. And the first one is the Chi Chi Color Let's Get Busy. And it's a super hot pink color. Looks like this swatching. Like it is so bright you can't even imagine. I haven't been able to wear it with my hair. I think it looks a little bit funky. So I'll have to wait again until my hair is blonde to wear it but I've been loving this color. The second lipstick that I want to show you is again from Chi Chi and it is Centerfold and it is my perfect nude, I swear. I'm wearing it today with another product on top. I'll show you the other product in a second because it's been my go-to combination, but it is the perfect nude. Here it is on my hand right there. Here it is in the tube right here. I think that this and the Iced Almond from Face of Australia are my two favorite nudes, so I was really happy to find this one because it's a little bit lighter of a color. The lip gloss that I've been pairing the Centerfold color with is NYX's Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie. And one of my subscribers actually sent me a little package with a bunch of these in it and a bunch of other stuff, so thank you so much. I am in love with everything that you sent me. That is so nice of you. I really, really appreciate how thoughtful that was. I love these. Oh my goodness. So they are the creamiest, really, really nicest glosses I've tried in a long time. There's a little stripe for you, I don't know how much you can see. They're quite opaque and they feel really, really nice on. They're not sticky, they go on really, really nice and give you a bit of shine. So I've been loving these buttercream glosses. Yet another lip product I've been loving has been the Nivea Lip Butters. And honestly, there's no excuse for you to not go buy these. They're like two or three bucks and they'll change your life. I don't even think you understand how good these smell. Seriously? It's like the roll your eyes into the back of your head because you're in so much pleasure kind of smell. Like, it's, it's unbelievable. I've never smelled a lip product that smells this good. They make your lips smooth. They work really well underneath lipsticks and stuff like that. So I have been loving these. I have the caramel cream and I also have the macadamia one or whatever one that one is. I think there's one other one and I'll probably go back and buy that as well. My next product was recommended to me by Nikki Tutorials here on YouTube and it is NYX's Blush and Taupe. I don't know how I lived without this. It is honestly probably one of my favorite all-time products now. Looks like this, and it is the perfect contour color if you are pale or you have lighter skin. Not sure how well it would work on darker skin, but this product is like a godsend for anybody that has a fair to medium skin tone. Perfect, perfect contour color. Like I said, I don't know how I lived without it. 
It's like five bucks and you need to go buy it right now. Everyone in the world should have this in their makeup kit, I swear. Some eyelashes that I have been coveting lately have been the red cherry ones. I love the wispy ones, which are these ones. They're really, really wispy eyelash. They look really natural on and I really like them. I do have to trim these ones a little bit because they're a little bit long for my eye shape. And I've been loving the number 43s. Now I kept seeing the 43s on Jaclyn Hill's YouTube channel and I would definitely say go check her out if you haven't seen her. She's totally a people favorite this month. I think she's just fantastic. I'll link her down below. But anyway, she always uses these 43 red cherries. So I bought like 15 pairs of them and I've been in love. I love them so much. Try them if you have kind of my roundish, bigger eye shape. They're perfect. Moving on to more random favorites. My next favorite is my Samsung camera. And I showed you guys this in, I think, my TMI Tuesday video, but this is a Samsung Galaxy camera. I bought it at JB Hi-Fi and I asked for a deal. And if you ask for a deal at JB Hi-Fi, they're really, really good with giving you a really good price. So I totally recommend doing that. But it's like a tablet slash camera and I've been loving it. I didn't get the plan where it has like internet all the time. I just hotspot it on my phone or my iPad or whatever. But I'm in love. I think it's so cool that you can upload directly to Instagram or you can do your thing on, put it on Facebook or whatever. It's just so, so easy to use. The only thing that I don't love about this camera is the keyboard. I think that it's a little bit slower than my Apple iPhone keyboard, but I mean, this is a different device completely. So of course the keyboard's gonna act a little bit differently. I just have to get used to it. But other than that, I love this camera. I totally recommend buying it if you are in the market for a camera. Another random favorite has been the TV series Holly's World, and I know I've already watched all of these when they're on TV, but seriously, I love this series. I love Holly Madison, you guys probably already know that, I think she's such a cool girl, and I love watching Holly's World, so this has been like my guilty pleasure watching this. My last random favorite weighs about a million pounds, and it's my Vitamix blender. Glenn keeps making fun of me because I legitimately use this for probably two out of three meals a day, if not more. I make smoothies in this, I've made hot soup in this because it'll actually heat the soup up if you let it like spin for long enough. The friction creates heat and it'll heat your soup up, which is amazing. I've made stuffing in this, I've made dough in this, I've made an ice cream cake in this. Like, I can make anything in this. If you dare me to make it, I could probably make it. So, I've been using this a lot, so you'll see it a lot on my vlog channel because this is seriously a new staple in my kitchen. Totally worth the money, 100%. Last but not least, my people favorites this month. I've already mentioned one of them, Jaclyn Hill. I think she is just fantastic. She has the best tutorials. She is stunning. And I don't even know how she makes her eye makeup so flawless. Like, it's frighteningly flawless. I'll link her down below. Make sure you go check her out. My second person favorite has been the Beauty Vault. And I honestly don't even know where to start. I love her channel so much. She has the best tutorials. She is such a cool person. She's from Vancouver, so I'm really looking forward to meeting her when I go back home. And yeah, I just, I don't know, when I watch YouTube channels, I really, really like watching not only for the person being talented or having a creative style, but for being a really cool person. Like, I like watching other people that are just really awesome human beings, and she seems to be one of those. I enjoy her content, I really enjoy her, so make sure you go check out her channel, go subscribe, I'll link her down below. So that is my current favorites, everyone. I hope that you found some new brands to try, or some new products that you like, or somebody new to watch on YouTube. I love watching favorites videos because I always get new ideas from them. Don't forget to check out the daily look thing. I know that a lot of you might not be interested, but it really would help a lot of girls internationally if they provided international shipping. So please go sign up. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget that all of my links are always down below and I will talk to you guys really soon. Love you. Bye.